This is Worsten Sloth. He's an Iron Man, restricted to a very specific set of weapons. Banned from using anything at all recommended, I'll be attempting to defeat every boss in the game. This means getting a quest cape and grinding for some items that most people wouldn't care about at all. So welcome to a ridiculous journey. So last episode we did not get the magic logs from Winter Todd, and rather than continue to grind out the Todd for a chance at these logs, I'm going to get 75 woodcutting so I can guarantee myself these logs. Now this is going to be a decent grind and this episode is going to be all about the grind to get magic logs. What? So I went ahead and got 75 wood cutting so I can just grab these logs. I did it through forestry, which means I have a couple felling axe handles so we can use that for weapons in the future. So there is one more preparation I'd like to do before we take on the quest, and that is make some prayer potions. I used most of the doses I got from the Fremenic Isles doing the archaeologists, and I do need some prayer pots for these bosses. So we're going to go ahead and get 38 herb lore. Shouldn't be too bad. We already have 30, and we can use diary lamps on it. So we're going to go ahead and do a few diaries and get that level. Cool, logs acquired, let's go to the Fremenic Easy Diary. Okay, lamp number one. 32, great, let's do more. And that's the Kandarin Diary, let's rub the lamp and get... 33 herb lore, okay, moving on. Karen Diary is done, which gives us some more herb lore experience, which gives us 34 herb lore, let's do some more. So I've been keeping up with my farm runs, and I do have about 50-ish Herolanders in the bank. So if I buy a bunch of chocolate dust and make them into energy potions, I can get pretty close to 37. So we're gonna do that. On today's episode of Quests I Can't Believe I Haven't Done Yet, Jungle Potion. Oh, you need me to gather some herbs for you? Yeah, no problem. Just let me know what they are, and I'll uh, go grab them. Oh, just, just one at a time? Wh why? Oh, because you hate me. Is it because I called you Wana? I'm really sorry. First herb on the list is Snackweeb. Next stop is R. Next up, we gotta get some aluminum foil that only grows in scorched earth. Now I need Valencia moss. And finally, I need a rouge purse. Hooray, we made a potion. So I realized I have a bunch of Globanova fruit tops, which means I can make botanical pies. Uh, that way I can actually use the Ranar weed that I've gotten, I uh, gather some snape grass, and then I can use that to train 238 herb lore. I'll still get the level so I can make it without boosting in the future, but yeah, I can train to it by making prayer pots. Let's go. Look at those 77 beautiful things in my inventory. That feels really good. Uh, with that, we are officially ready to get the gold out of them dunes. So there's treasure in the desert, at least that's what I'm told. Now we must unlock a temple holding power that is old. Evidence tells me about the diamonds and by whom they are controlled. Mirrors show me their locations, got them down with looking cold. First stop, walking deeper to the desert. Most filling my lungs, but you can't stop the glory run. The rain looks me in the eyes with the crimson flaming sword. No eyes, gloves, but I got my ogre bow. As I sprint around the road, it eats too much to bear. I fire your mind turns into a smoldering heart. And every arrow I shoot turns to ashes and land. And still he goes to the ground as I go through the smoke. Razzalo, give me your ring. I need to see into the void. And I brought you a thing. Now Davis walks out of the dark. Expect they made a fall before a sword. But I've killed scores of minotaurs. 
My skull scepter and the power of the dark altar Overshadow the shadow master of the shadows He takes his shirt off, he still dies Shadow diamonds is my prize Smoking shadow can't defeat me, I will claim The secret of the dudes Of the power of hell's been heard We thought the magic done with zeros But it has yet to be good So on walk the path We stole the gems of lies With weapons that they've never seen Can so much of us ask The snow is falling quickly Flat trolls that I must slay To open up the cave As my steps drain away Now I must brave the past Where we'll gather en masse Camilla has some renown But my mind will knock him down Got a hammer in my hand I try to cross the icy land Burning through my potions This is my finest notion Four times I had to run But this one's still not done This time the charm He falls, I rise, I win He dies, no chance, let's try With spikes upon my feet I walk this icy My fingertips I free these trolls For the ice gem Back in the swamp to the cannabis bar Malak is the fire blush that's gonna leave us gone Never felt higher than in Mort Maya At the end of the way I pour my blood on a grave Dessus tries to kill me But he's gonna get skewered My hits are few but his hits are fewer Wrecking range in melee he's too confused Fight, so he falls, I survive, yeah, good fucking time. Good of the dudes, but the power held with her. We thought the magic died with zeros, but it has yet to be good. So on walk the path, we stole the chance at last. The ancient whispers, the mind mind, and say, I'll shut down. If beating Camel with the Gatter Hammer doesn't make you want to subscribe, I, I don't know what will. Desert Treasure is complete, and that is just a wonderful thing to say. That gives us a bunch of magic XP, and that gets us really close to 55 magic, so let's just finish that off, finally. 55 magic, high alchemy unlocked, I am a happy boy. Alright, alright, let's alka thing, let's alk this scimitar. Ooh, yeah, that feels nice. That feels really nice. Okay, real quick, I do have five caskets to open. I'd like to see what's inside them. So let's start with the easies. Number one, that is certainly items. Uh, number two, wow, more items. And number three, you know, it's unique. It's not great, but fine. All right, <laughs> mediums. Number one. Well, law runes, great. And number two, use short bows, okay. Well, I think that'll out for something. I can't use it, but uh, well, overall I'd call that not great. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, it's time to do something I should have started a long time ago, but haven't for whatever reason. Uh, I'm gonna do birdhouse runs. So for that, I need a workshop and take a clock making space. So we're gonna make the workshop here. That looks great. And then we're going to go ahead and make the workbench. And with that, we can upgrade it to the workbench 2. And now we can make clockworks. We need four of these for four birdhouse spots, and I can make oak ones at the moment, so I have those. So I would like some dig site pendants, because as much fun as running from Varrock to the boat is every time you want to do a birdhouse run. Um, I don't want to do that. So, I'm here at Corsair Cove of all places, and there is a small section up here where there are five gold bars that spawn, because I don't actually have the smithing level uh, for gold. So that's embarrassing, but we'll, we'll take care of that later. Right now we're doing this. And... Dig Site Pendant. What a lovely thing. Gonna go ahead and use this Dig Site Pendant on this strange book, and uh, may as well trust it to teleport me here in the future. I'm sure that'll go fine. Okay, we'll kill some birds over here. A bit of bird murder right here. A bit of birder right here. God, I fucking hate birds. I think it's time we got some obsidian. Don't you?
And finally, the Tazarkedom or Obsidian Maul is mine. It feels good. This weapon is super iconic. It's not great, but it looks awesome, which is absolutely my thing. So yeah, this will probably be my main hand, like training weapon for a long time, uh, replacing the Brine Saber, which makes me so happy to say. But anyway, at this point, I think we can move on and actually just get some quests done that I can't believe I haven't done yet. And we'll kill a couple low-level bosses with some stupid-ass gear. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna head to Al Karid and do Prince Ali Rescue. Yeah, I still haven't done that quest, so uh, I'll be paying 10 GP for like one or two more times, and then we're done. Hey, brother, I would love to not give you money every time I want to come into the city. How uh, how would I go about doing that? Well, you could uh, rescue my son. Yeah, that, that seems fair. Got to talk to Osman, the Squirk Master. I mean, Spy Master here, and he's gonna tell us what to do. Nedward, the Wool Wizard here, is gonna give us a wig as long as we give him three little balls. Oh, hey, Leela. Loved you in Futurama. Oh my god, are you Lady Kelly, the Imprisoner Extraordinaire? I am such a big fan. I would just love to hold your jail cell key in my hand. What an odd thing to say. Osman, great news. 10 isn't just the amount of GP I have to pay to get through that fucking gate every time. It's also Lady Kelly's IQ, so I do have the imprint of the key here, so let's get going. Man, I find myself in the same situation as last episode, where I just have these three beers that I really need to offload onto somebody. Maybe Joe here? Yeah, that seems good. And now the part of the quest that I'm least okay with, we gotta tie this lady up and shove her in a closet. Not super okay with that. I overpower Kelly. Uh, that just seems wrong. Uh, Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali Ababwa, is this you? Oh, good, good, good. Yes, I have some stuff for you. Man, this guy must be really pretty if he can just like put on some skin paste and a wig and just be the spitting image of Lady Kelly. All right, dude, found your hot son. Can I please just use the gate now? Yes, I can. Nice, that's a quest long overdue. Next is a quest that's even longer overdue. So this is kind of embarrassing, but I forgot to do Tears of Guthix. Oh God, get through the mines quick, get through the mines. <sighs> we gotta get through the swamp, get through the swamp quick. Yes, Juna, hello, hello, just let me in. Get over here, you're fucking orbs. Oh God, come here, faster, faster. Oh my God, every second this takes is more XP waste, please. Let me to the other side, this is so stressful. Yes, mine the rock, come on, yes, done, go. Whew, all right, we did it. That was, that was, whew, that was tough. Let's go. Okay, I collected some tears in the bowl, and we get 25 Hunter. Up next, we're doing Ganondorf. I mean, Dwarf Cannon. I mean, Dwarf Cannon. That was so dumb. I don't know if I'll leave that in. Okay, let's repair a railing. Oh, I took damage, and my account's not deleted. Settled. Are you jealous? Well, we fixed all the railings, so now they need us to travel very far away to find out if this Dwarven Trooper is still alive and check in on him and, uh, oh, it's it's right here. It's very far. I understand why they couldn't have done it themselves. Um, and he is, uh, looks great. I think he's fine. Hey, I found your dead friend. I upend an entire bag of bones onto his feet. Jesus Christ. Next, gotta find a child in a cave. No, he's just a little guy. Okay, next, Captain Logoff here needs me to fix this cannon. I cannot fathom why he thinks I'm qualified to do this, but I guess we'll get it done. Hey, yeah, I whacked it as hard as I could, and it seems to be working. I don't even know what it does, but yeah, it seems right. Lastly, he needs me to go ask the engineer near Falador what kind of ammo it uses. I'm guessing cannonballs. Dwarf cannon, more like five small favors. Oh my gosh, the cannon fires cannonballs? I'm so glad I went all the way over here for you to tell me that. Okay, it's done, give me my quest points. Thank you. Next up on the rocket docket is Enlightened Journey. It doesn't actually unlock that much for me. I'm not gonna use the balloon transportation system much, but it is a requirement for a bunch of diaries and quests, so let's just get it done. Look at that face. That is the face of a man that I would trust, that I would follow into battle. That man is one I could call king. Oh God. I am running with eight sandbags on my person. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna enter World's Strongest Men real quick. Oh, it's so nice. See oh God, this is not it's good. <laughs> to the skies. We've done it. And Enlightened Journey is done. Next up, I want to do Getting Ahead, a quest here in the Cabos Lowlands. Some unknown beast has been terrorizing Gordon and Mary here, and we're going to help them stop it. Or rather, we're just gonna stop it and they're gonna maybe pay us. We're gonna use some flour on the gate here to see if we can trick it into showing us its tracks. Cause we are so smart. Hmm, very interesting. Based on the shape of these tracks, the creature seems to have feet in the shape of abstract concepts. 
Well, we've tracked the beast down to its hideout, and all we need to do is kill it and bring its head back to Gordon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, we better spork it to death. Alright, there is a mechanic, which you have to dodge that rock. But be careful, you only have 30,000 ticks. Do I even need to pray? I'm not gonna pray. What was that old EA Evolution game, Spork? You are so unbelievably sporked. Well, we've successfully killed the beast, but now we still have the problem of I don't have a head to bring to Gordon because it didn't have a head. So we're gonna figure that out. Well, Gordon only wants to pay us if we bring him a head. Uh, so really, we only have one course of action here, and it's not to show him the proof with my bloodied spork or bring him a paw. Instead, no, it's to lie, but poorly. Okay, made a head out of clay, and he didn't buy that one. Cool, we added some fur to the clay head to make this monstrosity. Okay, now he demands blood on it. We've made it worse, good, good. Hey, he believes us. Wow, what a great thinker. And now he wants us to mount this abomination in his home, which is a hell of a choice. But I will do it for the meme. Look at that. Wow, worse than slot, you have given me excellent head. Okay, that one's done. I enjoy that quest. Good job, Jagex. Last quest on my list here is Shiloh Village. A reward for completing this quest is access to Shiloh Village. Amazing. This here is Mosul Ray. He's uh, showing everyone the goods at all times, and I'm guessing he's got a problem with zombies. This, I don't know, something's telling me. Cool, we're gonna take this beautiful belt back to our boy Trufidus. What's, what's the Trufidus? And the truth of the matter is that there's an evil spirit that's laying waste to Shiloh Village, and we gotta do a little bit of tomb raiding to stop it. This place is Azarun, which apparently translates to Magnificence Floating on Water. And yeah, I can absolutely see where it gets its name from. I mean, even the skeletons have jaundice here. It's great. Ooh, there's a human corpse in the news that we can grab. Yeah, may as well. I mean, you never know when you might need a corpse. This is the second time this episode I've had an entire skeleton in my backpack. This is a weird day for me. What are the odds the corpse I found in an ancient underground labyrinth needs to be buried literally like 50 feet from the guy I came to show it to? <laughs> Oh, hey, man. Um, what's up there? Okay, he's just gonna look at the sun. Sure, why not? And he gave me a bone shard. Great, awesome. I love it. Yeah, you may look at this pile of rubble and think, sure, it's some rocks. <laughs> no, 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 no. These are well-stacked rocks. <laughs> All right, let's take a gander at this tomb, Dolmare. Hmm, turns out that Dolma was stuffed with a sword pommel and a locating crystal. Just gonna snag some beads from this. Gonna put some bronze wire through the beads, and now I have the beads of the dead, which I've always wanted. And in my most impressive feat of the day, I can literally look at this lock and then carve a key for it out of bone. Hell yes. I gotta throw some bones into this door. Luckily, I keep bones with me at all times. And we're in. Oh, it's shaking. I have triggered an earthquake. Good, good. Ooh, it's Nazastaru. Um. I think I safe spotted him. By accident. Let me see. Oh, yeah. He's just a big boy. Well, I wasn't intending to, but cool. I guess he's stuck there. <laughs> Got him. That's the whole boss fight, right? No, there's the second one. Hello. I just trapped him the same way. Mm, not there. I was just curious. What do that? No, then I'm flipped to flinching spot. Okay. So do that and that. Okay, no, you can get me there. There we go. All right. It's a big ass skeleton. What was he? Now, a lot of effort was spent on this examine text. The zombie form was a giant zombie of huge strength and devastating power, while this skeleton is a giant skeleton of huge strength and devastating power. Is the next one going to be a giant ghost of huge strength and devastating power? Let's find out. Yes. <laughs> Man, why do people sleep on halberds so much? No ammo required. You can still safe spot with them. Like, I'm kind of here for it. All right. Disaster rules down and we get someone else's corpse. 
Thank you, it's mine now. Just can't stay away from these well-stacked rocks. They're just too well-stacked. Toss these bones on the dolma. Oh, hello. And that is Shiloh Village completed. Also 49 crafting. In case you weren't aware, Mr. Yanni here, besides being a legend of Greek music, will also buy all the items you receive in Shiloh Village. So uh, let's sell them off. Cool, and that's a quick 2700 gold. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. But Desert Treasure completed, Tazark at home acquired, I feel great. I'm super excited about this account. And for next time, I, uh, I think I'm feeling kind of legendary. <laughs>